Hello friend, my name is Pradeep Kargi and today I'm going to show you how to create a flag in simplest way using 3ds Max. For doing this, you need to download Apex Clothing plugin from NVDIA official site. It's free to download. The link has also been provided at description below so you can easily download it. The built-in cloth modifier of 3ds Max is a bit harder to use. For clothing simulation, Apex Clothing is best ever for me. So hope you like it. So let's start the tutorial. First of all, I want to show you what kind of our animation gonna be after we finish it. So let's have a look. Okay, let's start. At first, open this 3ds Max. One thing I want to tell you, if you have Apex Plot blogging already installed, then there is no problem. You can easily move forward to the tutorial, but if you haven't installed it yet then you must have download it and install it it is strictly needed for this tutorial now open the 3ds max and click on the cylinder here i am going to mark it now create a cylinder from top viewport I'm not gonna tell you why from top viewport because you may already know the uses of all viewports in 3ds max just click and drag it just click and drag it the cylinder in top viewport and adjust the height I'm maximizing the viewport to maximize viewport click ctrl plus w or you can maximize from here also I'm creating a rod for flag so just design or create in your own style to modify the object you have to convert it in editable poly to do this right click on the object and select convert editable poly then click to the selection now click to the top of the object for modify now you can modify it in your own way i'm creating in my own way so it is not necessary to follow me you can create as your own After finishing it, click again to the poly selection. Poly selection. Now your pole or pipe or stand, whatever you say, is ready for attaching the flag. Now for flag, click plane from standard primitives. Click and drag in front view port. port. You can make rectangle or square shape. Now select move tool, adjust the size and position. Now from perspective view, I am adjusting it. From modifier panel, I'm gonna select cell modifier so that it, I could get thick look. You can also go through plane only. I am doing this because I like to have a bit a thick flag. And now I want to tell you that Apex clothing is only can apply in rigged and skinned object. But don't panic, you don't have to do professional rigging or pro rig. Just you need to attach the bone only. Now select the system icon on the right hand side of panel. Just click to the bone and go to go to the front viewport. It's just a simple rig, not hard to do. Just the bone you have to attach with the flag. Place the bone at the place where you where your stand is placed. Only few side of flag or plane you have to rig so place it as I'm showing now select the plane and go to the modifier and select the skin modifier add bone it's almost done you can hide this bone
you are ready for cloth modifier i'm not applying cloth modifier from default plugin as i already said to do so select plan to go go to the phase x plugin sorry for pronouncing this word i don't know how to pronounce it select apex clothing or you can apply it from here also by click clicking this icon now you have to paint these flags so click to the maximum distance i'm putting the value of 50. you can experiment experiment with different values select plus here i'm using plane with cell modifier that's why i'm painting the value from this side first so that my polygons may not stock in air if you have used only plane then you can paint from wherever you want Now finish the remaining part. If you get disturbed from the visualizer, you can off it by selecting visualizer off from here. Now paint it. Leave the attached part. If you also paint this side, then flag will drop down. So for fixing flag with stand, you have to paint with minimum brush value at this side. Now decrease the brush value about 1 or 0 0.5. Okay, paint the remaining side. Now it's about finished. Deselect the brush. I'm going to test it for simulation click start simulation here okay almost done this part is uh, like attaching with something else maybe some polygon or mist for paint so fix it by again painting yeah it's a bit better I prefer applying this plugin at plane only it gives smooth and good effect now to add win effect scroll down the panel put the speed value of maximum for maximum now you can see the movement of flag as the same way increase the direction value also Do the same process for elevation also. You can experiment by increasing or decreasing the value. Now for better look, go to the gravity setting. Here gravity is a bit high so this flag is not waving upward decrease the value of gravity you can see the effect decreasing or increasing gravity is affecting the flag nice it worked great pause the simulation Now you can check it by rendering. You can texture it also, texture of national flag or any other thing.
here are different setting also you can play with them like changing backstop offset pending with it it helps the cloth bouncing and makes cloth doesn't pass through it collision object dynamic options are also here so you can experiment them this is fixed flag you can also apply some animation or you can bake it without animation baking is the most important part now i'm going to add some animation here oh sorry one thing i forgot to attach the flag with stand or pipe unite the bone because it's very important flag is attached with bone adjust the pivot point now group all objects for animation now animate it animate it i'm going to rotate it and move it okay simulation simulate it again Oh, nice. Okay, I've got my flag. Now bake it. It is very important. If you don't bake it, then your animation or flag effect will no longer remain after restarting 3ds max or you can say say that you can't save your simulations so friend thanks for watching my tutorial if you like it please subscribe my channel for more videos and please do a comment and share it